What's up, everybody? It's Serious Voice here. Uh, welcome to Farm Tools, man. Yes, and this is your man, Christopher James. In gospel music, um, uh, people know me as Mr. C. I'm also the president of uh, Siri Music, managing this great young lady right here next to me. And uh, yeah, we are quarantined and married. married. Yeah. <laughs> and we're super excited about that, right? Yeah. Definitely. Um, so welcome everybody that, that's uh, tuning in and shout out to all of you for taking the time out to look at our video, our, our at home um, uh, recap of what we've been doing and how we've been coping as a married couple, uh, as a manager and artist. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a rapper, I'm also a media professional, an entrepreneur, a minister, I do a number of things and so does uh, Mr. C here. And um, today, we well, we talked about it over a week and you said it would be interesting to talk about our romance, keeping the romance alive. And so um, that's why we're here today to talk about romance and, and, and why not better from married people. And, and we've been married for uh, almost 14 years and uh, together for 15. So um, October makes uh, 14 years and um, since we've been married. And it's, it's been interesting. But anyhow, um, why not uh, start? on uh, how to keep the romance uh, alive in well, your marriage. You know, um, for me, uh, one, one of the things I do uh, to keep things going is um, I do things to show that I'm still in love with my wife by coming up to her and doing stuff like this. I, uh, uh. <laughs> Woo! <No. laughs> but you know, um, the, the, the last um, the last uh, video we did, um, you know, I told a line. You see, when it comes to getting on my wife's nerves, but uh, I don't cross the line, you know. And uh, but those are the kind of things I do, as uh, from the man standpoint, uh, because you got to keep the fire burning. You got to basically uh, keep in your mind that uh, your excitement about who you're with still remains intact. Even after um, leaving, coming up to 14 years, that's very, very important. And um, the, re the reason why that's important, one of the reasons why that's important, because always said, and people that don't even believe in God will always say, well, you know, uh, uh, was it half the marriages, half the divorces, um, half the Christian marriages end in divorce, 50 percent, you know? So we are responsible um, for a lot of relationships that don't work. And, um, knowing that I feel um, motivated, you know, to make sure that my marriage works, you know, um, you know, and everybody has a different reason, different things happens. Um, I've seen family go through a, a divorce. It's pretty bad. Some people, you know, for some people it might, you know, might be the best for them in certain situations. Um, but anyway, um, as far as my marriage is concerned, um, it is, uh, I, I definitely feel the responsibility from a man's standpoint, to keep the excitement going, because I am excited. Uh, she knows I do that to her all the time. She'll tell you that's why she's smiling. <laughs> 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 so it's very, it's, it's very important um, for the man, to me, to be the uh, the, the, the playful resource. Because a lot of times the women are serious. Women have a lot of different issues that men, uh, you know, us men can never understand. You know, they go through certain things physically, um, emotionally, and different things. And I believe it's up to the man to keep things light. That's just how I feel about it. Um, you know, so uh, I don't know if you want to, uh, you know, chime in at this point. Um, what can I say? I think that one of the things that really affects the romance in a marriage is like you you alluded to um, your upbringing. A lot of times women are not as romantic and ladies don't come down on me hard after watching this video. Um, even though I could take it, but a lot of us were brought up in a home where, you know, our mothers and fathers said, okay, young lady, um, you can't be too emotional. You can't, you know, be too physical with people of the opposite sex. You've got to be strong and confident and you've got to protect yourself. And so we grow up and we get married and it's hard for us to embrace the romance. So now we're stuck in the house. <laughs> But two months together, and you're like, okay, 
you know, this is beyond seven hours of being together. This is like every second, every day, you know, minus the bathroom runs, the shower runs, um, maybe the grocery store runs. Um, the I'm walking around the block runs because I can't take you guys anymore. But minus all of that, it's like, wow, you know, you really um, learn about yourself. And I've come to even learn that um, I need a lot of room. I need space to breathe, to think. Um, and I like being out in the fresh air. And I guess it's it's from my, my uh, upbringing in Brooklyn. And, and um, when I say a lot of us, and I mean myself, you know, taught to just be confident and protect yourself and your body and not just give yourself up all the time. And so now we've been married 14 years and yeah, it's great. You know, you know, I could be in a different room and I'm doing work and he's, you know, in the den doing work or we're, or in our bedroom doing work uh, for his job and he'll come and he'll be like, how are you? And, and I could be in that place where I'm like, you know, I'm trying to send this email. Could you give me a minute? And um, sometimes it gets crazy and then I'll feel bad and then I'll go and I'll be like, okay, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry I didn't give you that attention and engage in your attempt at romance. <laughs> so, but um, ladies, we do have to pay attention to our men, especially um, when, you know, you're locked in the house with them now and you have nowhere to run, you have no excuses. Um, you can't say, well, I'm busy doing work and I can't take a minute to acknowledge you well you know it's, um, it's, it's important because like when, when you when um before the pandemic right. you call your spouse let's keep it real men or women right like before, and, and, and you say hey babe how's it going i'm busy i can't talk right now click well so now in this time right. there's you a chance to repair right. or maintain what you right, got right, right, right. it's important well people need yeah. like like for us um, I was working in the city before COVID hit and you were working in Long Beach and you know, one o'clock I take lunch and we talk at one o'clock just about every day. We talk, what did we talk about? Foolishness. What are you eating? What am I eating? That sort of thing. But it was just connecting. Um, and just, um, I guess spend, that was our, our, our way of communicating and spending time with each other because yeah. Frankly, I'd leave at 6.30 in the morning and get back at 7, 7.30 in the evening. What else is there to do but to eat, you know, maybe watch the news, go to bed, you know, do all that other stuff. So, but for the most part, you're not really engaging with your partner. Mm -hmm. um, and so now it's it's been kind of interesting. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. But uh, you know what? It's It's been fun. It's really been fun. I've, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed his moments of just coming and harassing me and, I really have nowhere to go. Where am I going to go? What am I going to say? I can't talk right now. And he sees what I'm doing. Um, but it's been fun. It's been fun. Um, we haven't had any crazy uh, arguments or anything that's kind of put a damper on the romance. I no. think we've uh, nope. we've I mean, been pretty and, good. As a matter of fact, we, um, you know, listen, fellas, um, my advice to you, especially when you're married, and especially when you have responsibilities, sometimes the most romantic approach is to keep it simple. Example, last night, we watched a movie. Queen and Slim. We watched Queen and Slim. Yes. I don't yes. know what y'all think about the movie, but uh, maybe they, maybe maybe the saying is, if you don't have anything nice to say, you shouldn't say it at all. But. Well, I was, it, it <laughs> certainly had us talking because we woke up this morning and that was the first thing. Yeah, the movie was kind of weird, man. That, that, I, you know, I wanted to talk about this morning and throughout the day we've been talking about it. Like a lot of stuff the couple did, black people just wouldn't do. That I'm just going to put it out there. Oh boy. So, but anyhow, this oh black boy. person wouldn't oh do. Oh boy. So, um, Ooh. don't be mad at no, me. No, black, I mean, yeah. I mean, as far as, as, far as black culture, as far as black culture, and, you know, you know this black culture. This Brooklyn chick who is college educated with three degrees, would not do them crazy things these people Don't did. Don't give it away because some people haven't so, seen it. But if you watch the movie Queen right, of Slim, you'll see right. the things we, as black people, most likely <laughs> wouldn't do. Trust me on that. But right. um, but yeah, man, I mean, these are the kind of things you do. Keep it simple. Um, don't overthink stuff, fellas. Sometimes you just got to just flow what you have, work what you have in your home. Right. You know? Right, right. Um, maybe it's just, to some people, this is obvious. But sometimes we trying to do all this stuff, trying to go overboard and all that. And sometimes, you know what, honestly, the, the, woman, the woman might not want that. 
she might want something nice and simple. And sometimes the man, uh, uh, from the lady's standpoint, as far as the lady's concerned, the man might not want to always um, uh, uh, go all out and go explosive and go on a Learjet and go to a $500 a night hotel. I'm just being honest. Because uh, to be honest with you, um, one of my family members, I'm not going to say who, is very simple. Goes to work, works hard, and he wants to stay at home. He dated a girl once who just wanted to, she was exact opposite. She wanted to go to pool halls. She wanted to travel and do all this stuff. So when there's a clash in um, philosophy, as far as lifestyle, that's where issues can arise with romance. Right, right. You have to, you have to, the, the, uh, the, 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 main, the main important thing is you have to pay attention to the person that you're with. And I think if that's done, um, there'll be a lot less issues, even in good marriages I'm talking about as well, you know? Right. And I think um, for me, I've been spending outside of working and being busy on the computer um, and doing music when I'm not on the computer. I think one of the things that I've been doing even more is cooking, and he'll agree. He's not, he see he's not gonna smile or but I've yeah, been doing more cooking, and really um good. I think that too helps with the romance because then your partner gets to see that you really care, um and you want them to to maintain you know healthy eating habits while we're stuck in the house, and so I make it a habit of you know making these morning trips to the supermarket and grabbing fresh vegetables and fruits and that sort of thing and, and making a nice meal. And um, yes, I can cook for people who think, oh, she's, you know, she's this rapper and she's this media person and she doesn't cook. She doesn't spend time in the kitchen. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Um, so much so that I think what, after the first month or whatever, I got tired of cooking and, and, and I was like, oh my God, I need to go out and get some food. <laughs> and um, But yeah, what was it that we got? Pizza? Oh, like, man. A burger? No, it was a burger. It was a burger, was a burger from, yeah. from 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 um, one of these places, but it was a it was a it was a whiskey burger. It was um and um yeah, but I got tired of cooking every day. Well, you know, almost every day, and um just eating home cooked food. And I'm like, oh man, I need something from outside, some fast food. But um outside of that, guys, because I know we're talking about romance, but one of the things that has helped me to deal with being quarantined. And I picked up the book. I've had this book since I was in college. This is um, Maya Angelou's um, a book of poems. Um, and this has really helped me. It's crazy because when I was in college, I, I, you know, I had to memorize Phenomenal Woman and I had to memorize a few of these uh, from Maya. Um, and Still I Rise. Oh, pray my wings um, are going to fit me well and um, just give me a cool drink of water before I die. A lot of people have heard of those those uh, poems by Maya, but I've just I've just gotten a whole new um, appreciation for black authors like Maya Angelou. Um, you know, I really have mm -hmm. because now I can sit down and really think about what she's saying and why she said it. You know, especially Phenomenal Woman um, and, and a few others as well. And another thing, ladies, that, that I've, been, I've been doing is I've been reading a whole lot more outside of reading the Bible and reading articles and newspapers and all that stuff. I picked up the latest issue of Oprah Magazine, O Magazine, and, you know, that's what helps to uh, get through the day and get through it with you. Um. <laughs> you know, uh, you know and, 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 I, and I'll say this, because, uh, you know, Fellas, sometimes you come, come up with an idea. Like for me, um, like several nights ago, um, I said, um, let's, let's take a ride. Let's go get some ice cream. Something simple, right? We tried to go to a, a very popular spot in Long Beach uh, called Tutti Fruity. Very good frozen yogurt spot. I came out and said it. Banging frozen yogurt. I mean, you go in, you can get whatever flavor you want, not to mention the toppings, blueberries, all this other stuff, right? They're very good, by the way. Yo, Shout out to Tutti Frutti. You want to talk about flexibility in this time? This time, right now, this pandemic is teaching a lot of us how to be more flexible than ever. Right. We went there, closed. I was like, you got to be kidding yeah. me. Closed, really? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. then there's a next spot up the road, um, an ice cream spot in Long Beach called Marvell. Well, yeah. So we went there. I mean... You, I mean, because Tutti Frutti um, is like, you know, basically really tasty to the buds, I had to basically tell Marvell, yo, you fired. <laughs> but because of, you know, Tutti Frutti being closed, mm -hmm. we went to Marvell and we, we enjoyed it. So um, 
be flexible right. when, uh, when 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 it comes to romance. You know what I'm saying? If something that you're uh, you're, you're interested in is um, uh, not available, that's that that option not available. Don't get down on saying, "Oh, the evening's ruined, the evening's spoiled." I mean, you know what I'm saying? Do what you have to do to uh, both both parties. You know, the, the man and the woman. Be flexible to enjoy each other's company, because, like I said, because of the limited options, you can't go into a restaurant, and sit down. You can't go here. Matter of fact, another time we went uh, to the uh, <laughs> to, to Long Beach. Um, I think before that, the boardwalks closed. The state mandated all the parks shut down. So, be as flexible as you possibly can. It's not about the stuff. It's not about the places. It's about you and your spouse. Keep that in mind. And I'm telling you, you'll enjoy your days during this pandemic and well after it is gone. Exactly. I agree. Um, and ladies, if you know, you want to uh, invoke a little bit of, um, you know, romance into your, your marriage while you're stuck at home, why not just grab your, your partner's hand? And I know I, this is something that, that, um, I don't do often and he'll sit here and tell you, <laughs> Elsa had me like she is the most um, non-physical person, but um, <laughs> ladies, you should you should grab your man's hand and just run. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm joking. I'm absolutely joking. Um, I do more talking than anything. He's he's physical person like he's always behind me around me in my ear wow you're trying to, you're trying to get me you trying to get me incriminated thank god you're my wife man you know what i mean but uh no seriously um you know or just take your hand and just rub them <laughs> gently across the face <laughs> that'll get their attention um but seriously though just do what you can obviously uh with respect to your partner and um uh, to keep, you know, the fire burning, keep it alive, that sort of thing. Talk to each other, communicate, you know, cook a meal. Um, like I said, I've been doing more of that. But um, we are going to stop here because, you know, we don't want to bore you. We want to keep you guys engaged. I hope that we were able to help you guys somehow. I hope that, um, you know, your marriages will stay intact and you'll talk to your partner. You won't just be working and, and, and just passing each other in the hallway, but you'll actually spend some time together. So we want to catch you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Any last words? No, that's about it all for now. I can't wait to the next one. <laughs> Until then. Me too. <laughs> all right. Peace, everybody. God bless.